Monique. <laughs> oh, no, he's in his room. He don't want to open his door. How long is going to take? I don't even know where that is. Actually, let's take a look at the room. Yeah, it's actually. Yeah, that's a good one.
the question back. Yeah. Sure, we got us on camera and shit. Got it. Here. Let's pull it out. And then I'll just take it from you. <laughs> Let go of it. I was in there. I didn't realize, I didn't know if you were sending or not. No, no, I wasn't. I thought you were working, so now I'm back on. Uh...
cocaine. The state of Indiana need to get themselves together and get on the Hey, crackheads, hey, wild, wild hey, ass. Hey, the way you your favorite alcoholic train. It's totally ridiculous. How you doing, Mr. Dog? It's hard to go down this big wall from the thing and there's like a one line. One line of people. Yeah. <coughs> Gentlemen? All right. We hot. Come on. We hot. They, they call us on the radio. Oh, shit. It's over. Oh, oh. Oh. I know I'm going in. It's today. It's at 1.30. So, yeah, they're going to be telling me if I'm going to leave July 16th or not. So, it's kind of just kind of up to them basically say. But today I'm set to leave for July 16th. So, yeah, I should make it. I ain't got nothing but, matter of fact, I ain't got no paperwork since about like two months, so yeah, they ain't got nothing to say, but yeah, so. Mm. Yeah, it's with a superintendent, the head counselors, uh, my counselor, principal, they sit down and tell me, basically, me will tell me why I should and ask me why should I be able to go home. So, uh, well, why I shouldn't go home. So, yeah. Yeah, you can pick me up right at the um, lunch wall count. So it's, it's gonna be like at 12, so. Since we're an hour back, cause you know, yeah. Cause when you, yeah, when, it, when it's one down there, it's really two up there, so. We actually an hour back, so. You'll be able to pick me up. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to pick me up around like 12, 12.30, right at the wall count, so that'll be around the time that your appointment will be done, right? Yeah. It don't matter. As long as, as long as uh, you come home from ready, it'll be 30 minutes later, it don't matter. Got this for the baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Glad I'll be there to see my nephew born, too. All right. 
already know. It's time to get out. That's why I've been telling you, but I let you down a That's why I don't even really want to talk about what we're doing here. I've been telling you too many times, you know. It's going to play out. Man, I, I am going to stay with you, though. I mean, so. We still try to get four times out. Hey, Miss Sills. Hey. How's it going? Hi. Going to D12. Got to talk to uh, Scott Manna. Oh, okay. All righty. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, Kim. What are you doing? You ready to hear the results? Here's the deal, okay? You got your release, but it's going to be two weeks from now. You got to pay your two weeks. You going to be okay with that? I know. I know it's hard. I know you get your hopes up, okay? We're going to call your sister, though, and let her tell, tell her, you know, that you'll probably be a few more weeks down the road, okay? So I'm back for the 30th, right? Right, right. You going to be okay with that? I'll be all right with that, guys. You want me to get your counselor, have you talk to your sister? Will that help? Yeah, I'll be good. Yeah, she's going to be shitty at me, too, though, but I, I feel like, I mean, I messed up. I'm going to be a man about it now. I know, but you got to start communicating with her, right? Because you're going to be living on the outs with her, right? Exactly. Right. So you just got to man up to what you did mm -hmm. and let her know, okay? Yeah. You have any problems, just give, give me a buzz. Just tell them, you know, you need to holler at Miss Yancey, okay? All right, yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. I'll yeah. see you later, okay? Uh, thank you. All right. Damn, <sighs> man. Nathan Brady. I'm sorry? Nathan Brady. Nathan Brady. Yeah. So obviously you guys were brought down here for a reason. You want to talk about what you did, what happened? We don't know yet. We just, um, they came and woke us up out the bed and said that we were going to say it. We usually know what we did because we usually go right when we do it, but we ain't did nothing yet. Yeah, because that's what I thought when they walked in. Obviously, you'd know you were going to be taken somewhere, right? Yeah. So I hear there was a battery yesterday. Do you know anything about that? They said we battered somebody, but I don't know. I don't think they got the wrong people or something. So you didn't batter anybody? Huh. Every time I go to SIG, I admit for what I do, and I ain't do nothing this time. I always admit if I get in a fight or something. So you've been in SIG before? Yeah, I've been here for two and a half years. You've been? Yeah, in this place. You've been in this prison two and a half years? Yes, ma'am. What'd you do to get in here in the first place? Uh, Grand Theft Auto and... Uh, Escape and assault and run away and stuff. So when you were on the outside before you came here in the Pendleton, I mean, when you, you know, when you're in the midst of Grand Theft Auto or Escape, do you think about what you're doing before you do it, or? I what? thought about I thought about what I was doing, but I was I was, I don't know, I had friends around and stuff trying to impress people, but I was having fun at the same time, so I didn't think about coming here and then. So what is it? You just think you won't get caught or you just do it for fun? Or? I was doing it for fun, but I was doing it all the time and I never got caught, so I just 
Well, getting caught wasn't on my mind because I hardly ever got caught. How old were you when you first started getting in trouble? Do you remember? Like 11. How do you get in trouble when you're 11? I don't know. I mean, was there something going on at home that... I used to, I started getting in trouble because I used to run away a lot and stuff when I was little. What were you running from? Just everything. I used to run away to friends' houses and stuff, and then they called the cops and I'd go to juvenile and stuff. But I always got out, and then when I turned 13 and stuff, I started doing other stuff, like major stuff, stealing and stuff. So it just kind of got worse over the years? Yes. Yeah. Now that you've been here two and a half years, if you get out, are you going to stay straight? Yeah, I'm trying to. That's why I don't want to go home yet, because I ain't ready. I want to wait until I learn my whole lesson so I don't try, so I don't come back or nothing. Because when you get out, you're going to be 18, right? Yeah. What happens if you start going back to your old ways once you're out? I'm not going back to my old ways. So I don't want to come here for a long time again. Oh, 
Cool looking, even though they're really see through. <laughs> yeah, you can see all the parts in them. Right. Like right from the side. Oh, wow. Like an old school Mac or something. Yeah, you can get some. Yeah, it's a good one. 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 These are my scores from my test. I maxed it out. 
on the highest book. I got the highest scores you can get. So that's for uh, Yeah. This is the test you take before uh, the GED. You're a smart kid, huh? Hopefully the concert will come tomorrow. How's the concert work? You're going to have more money in the account? Yeah, you order it, and then it comes like two weeks later. And this right here is my workout bag. Put books in it. And you curl it. So then I got... These are all my uh, study books. We just use them for weights, so, though, when we're not studying. Which one do you have? Do you have a top one? That's my bone. My bone. Just write letters. So they put me in CA and I left all my pictures there when I went to VR to get released. And my grandma was like, where's your pictures and stuff? And I'm like, it's in segregation. So we waited for like five minutes. So she was like, do you even want them? I'm like, no, because I was ready to leave. So we ended up leaving. But the whole time we're driving back, I'm looking back. I was nervous because I didn't want to go back. And I was surprised. I was really thought it was a dream again because I have plenty of dreams of me being out. And I wake up and I'm just still locked up. And I was really surprised that I really was out. I not there. I never thought I'd do it. Were you almost afraid to get out though because you were so used to what life was like locked up? Was it hard for you to think about when I get out, I have all this freedom, I can do whatever I want? No, I like when I I be thinking like. It's fun. It's not fun being like though, but like by me growing up around all these dudes that's my age, and I know so many of them because I've been knowing them for years. Is like I'm used to having fun with all of them. I like we're used to fighting, throwing chairs, acting a fool together. So when I'm getting out, I know I can't be doing all this because there's I'm gonna get a big chance to get locked back up. So like I do say it was fun, but. I don't want to be here no more, man. I miss my little brother too much. So, how is your little brother? What's what's going on with your brother and your sister? Do you know? My sister, you wouldn't even want to know. She supposed to get out of uh, girl school uh, the 29th of this month. So she's incarcerated too. Incarcerated in a girl's prison. And she get out on the 29th of this month. She's yep. she, like she about to turn 20. And what about your little brother? My little brother, he at home. So he's not in the system yet? He young. I hope he ain't never in there. How old is he? Do you know? Yeah, by turn, I think by turn nine. Yeah, he by turn, he probably nine already, one of them. Is he still with your grandma? Did you get any visits? No visitation. Did you get any visitation when you were in Pendleton at all, or? No? It's another thing they like, when I first got locked up in two, when I was 13, I was getting told that they was gonna come visit me in life. All that at boy school. But then I got used to it because it wasn't that they was lying. It's just my grandma used to tell me it's called tough love. So I guess that was her way of punishing me, like no visits. She robbed me right now and then, but it's cool. And I'm used to it now. 
Like when I first got here and I was in my county, I never even filled out a visitation list because I knew they wasn't gonna come. But Doesn't that make you feel sad? It do, but so used to it like, mm -hmm. like my mama, she don't even write me. Never had wrote me, not one time since I've been here. Not one time. When was the last time you saw or talked to your mom? Talked to her at, uh, when I was at the county, like around April or something, last year, about a year ago. That was when I talked to her. The last time I saw her was when I was out, which is 2009 or 10. Do you think she cares about you? <clears throat> I know she cares about me deep down, but she don't show it really. Has she ever shown it to any of your kids, do you think? Uh, not that I can really, yes, yeah, she had, but I mean, I know she can do way better, though, but not really. Do you ever feel sorry for yourself? Like, this really ultimately isn't my fault. Like, if I would have had a different life, maybe it wouldn't have been spent in lockup. I can't really blame it on my family history because I know most of the stuff that I do, I do, I do it like it's my fault. But I can say like if I probably would have had a better background, like if I would have had a pocket for you there, they like to leave me on. And my mom, she was always locked up too when she was, when I was young. I can name plenty of times when she got locked up. But probably part that's probably part of it, but I wouldn't blame that because I mean, I do, I do it. If somebody were to watch this interview and say, I wanna help that kid, what would you want what would you hope somebody would want to help do or help make life better for you? Really, really I mean So basically what you asked me is like, if somebody was the one to help me, what would I need help with? Yeah. What would you want them to do? Give me my cup. I'm trying to take a picture of my ass. Look, I'm going to give a motherfucking uh, cereal box like that. up here. Let me see the other ones. See your, your uh, arms. Can we see it again? All right, thanks, man. And I mean what I said, and I'll put your little fat ass to bed. Now look, I'm just playing with you. You my son. You should thank my dick. Now look, the girl was on. Bitch, you can't fuck with me in the raps. Nigga, you said you hood, bitch, you on track. You don't do shit. 
Because he was a bitch. Hey, man. You see Seven. 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 Do you want to interview him? Just close the door and I'll, and we'll, we'll uh, You want me to take your cell phone over there, Kyle? Take your heart over there real quick. Uh, hold on. single file right by this door. And when you get in, do not speak unless spoken to. Sir, wants to take your first cut for off. Put your hands on your head. Take the other cuff off of you, make sure you put your hands on your head. So you have a seat. You put your hands down. Sure, I see. I'll be doing a, um, a photo of you. We'll be uh, strip searching you, checking for tattoos and everything, okay? Yes, Everybody understand? Yes, sir. You understand? Sorry. You understand? You understand? Okay. As soon as we get done with the process, we'll let y'all eat, okay? Sorry. You all right? Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Yeah, we is. We both run under the six. I'm 7'4". I'm Vice Lord. And do your two gangs get along? Not really. We, we In here we do, but not on the house. Tell me that in a full sentence, because they're not going to hear my questions. In here we don't get along. Vice Lords and G's don't get along. Well, we in here we get along, but on the outs, 
it's a different story. We, so what happens if you two run into each other on the street when you're out? Say he gonna be cool and let, until he disrespect me, then everything, everything go from down here from there. But right now we cool. What do you think? Oh, he's my niggas. What are you gonna do if you see him on the outside? <laughs> Chill. With me. Tell me the full sentence. It's my, it's my, we all, while we up here, we cool and shit. If I see him on the outside, we still be cool with him. Let some other shit happen. And uh, what are you guys in here for? I'm here for a whole, I'm here for gang activity and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm here for uh, placement failure, gang activity, and uh, fighting with police. When do you guys think you're going to get out? I'm supposed to be getting out on the 17th. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> no. Um. Do you think you're going to get out on time? Me? Yeah. Uh, I hope so. You hope so what? I hope I get out in time, but ain't no telling, because this facility, it changed a lot. One day you getting out, the next day you ain't. It changed a lot. Why is that? A whole bunch of stuff be going on there, admin. It's like, if you if I get a black eye, I won't be able to go home on time. They have to send me home two weeks later, because we can't go home with black eyes or something. That won't happen to me, because I'm that dude. <laughs> 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 I was supposed to go home November 30th for last year, but they, they, they snatched my uh, determined sentence. When I went to the Napa City, we both started a racial riots mode. And I was supposed to go home in October of 05, but I broke somebody's jaw and I came here. I was never supposed to go home. I was down for the cause. <laughs> um, when you get out, are you going to stay in the gang? Or? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm seven folk to the Hell death. Yeah. I'm a game to disciple all day. And you too? You're gonna stay in your game? How? It's what? <laughs> it's not a game? <laughs> and, uh, it's not a game, bro. It's not a game. How long do you think you're gonna be able to stay out for? On the outs, oh, I'm gonna I'm be out for a minute because I've been in here for a minute. I'm gonna be out for a long time. I don't even plan on going to prison. But if it happened, it happened. How about you? Shit, if I go to prison, I have to go to prison. I really don't give a damn. <laughs> you don't care? Nah. You think you're ready for, for the adult prison? Where I'm from, and Gary, if you, you, you don't have to do nothing. The police will take you to jail anyway. They'll set you up to all kind of drug, drugs on your guns and anything else. They'll whoop your ass and get away with the shit. You try to do something about you going to prison, but either way it goes. I don't. I wouldn't want to go to prison. It wouldn't be my first option, but it happens. It you can't stop it. What? Why do you think you can't stay out? I mean, to me, that's amazing. I would never want to come. I could stay out. I didn't plan on coming here. It just, I was doing a lot of shit. I didn't think I was going to get caught. So then I finally got caught and I came in here. And this, when you come here, it's a totally different story from the house. Because when you in here, it's a whole lot of stuff to go on. People here getting whooped. People here getting a food took it. And if somebody ever tried to try that with us, and they got no other choice but to. Get down here or game bang. That's what it's mostly like here is game banging. That's why we down here. Cause they said we we can't be in GP because I guess we the we out we guess we the leaders of our gang or our branch out there. Sides going down. That's why they got us down here. So you guys are, are higher level up in the gang? Is that generally why you guys are here? I ain't gonna say that, but I got a reasonable amount of respect. But I ain't gonna say that though. It's just we, we, we stand out out of everybody, because we be doing the most, everybody else lay low, we just don't give a fuck. We just out there bang with whoever. Then they sent us up here. And you? Same shit, that was on the unit with him before. Yeah. Yeah, they kicked us off. We couldn't be on the same unit, because we've been in rides together and all this. I've been in rides with him too. He left and came back and I was still here. We've been in a lot of rides together. You guys ever, uh, you ever feel bad about people you've hurt? Mm -hmm. Hell no. I don't, cuz. I can't feel bad about them. 
we they trying to hurt us too. Yeah. We get them before they get us, so I don't feel you bad about it. Get, that's what do. they get. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna feel bad about it, but I ain't gonna say that I feel good about it either. This year. Once they get us, they don't feel bad. They uh, they go around both of them. Right? Yeah, it's, it go both ways. Yeah. But. Outside wreck. I don't know. Hey, it's raining good. and it's cold. Tough guys. Next 
That's it. That's it. Last chance. Yep, they're all takers. They're done. Thank you. you want this? No. Okay, no. Okay, no. All right, Michael. No. Got you, man. All right, Lamar, folks. Okay, Stay up, my man. All right, Michael. Stay up, man. All right, man. All right, then, bro. Look at you, bro. The secret word is no. Yep. <laughs> Come on, BZ, man. Thank you. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm going home. Boy. <laughs> Can I get a visit, baby? We had it tonight? Oh, man. You playing. <laughs> you got the piece? Yeah. All right. We on, man. You ain't even got, you got to take TV. Yeah. Oh. I'm playing no games. Damn, nigga. What? Should've, you should have told me you had a TV. Why? You got an extra cord? Like what? Yup. Oh, okay. I was going to buy one for seven. But, but cable cord. Extra cable cord. Yup. I bought it just in case. Okay. But, but I got to fix the... We gonna make some shake. Damn, you gotta fix the thing. It's broke. No, man. my piece, my TV, cool, but the other one from the other state TV, I got. Oh. The one like Gucci got the clear one. Yeah. I got that too. Okay. Good deal. Get out of here. Hey, but if we, go, if we go to the gym today, you trying? Hopefully, just trying to just sit down and just see what's going on. I don't know, man. Depends if niggas just bang up five on five, we jumping in. Trying to these young niggas get down. Yeah. Oh man, dude. Hey, what we gonna do tonight, man? Post up. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna teach that, bro. Yeah. There probably ain't even no young niggas over there either. That's the best one over, best block over there. Yeah, I know. I've been asking. He, he told me. He said, uh, this is, uh, he don't want me going nowhere else, you know, getting in trouble. And yeah. Shit. So I told him, send me somewhere where motherfuckers just lay back and shit, you feel me? What was that? Was you, did you come out the other day when it was raining? Nah. I ain't messing with it. Did you? was out there playing wall ball, bro. Where? Over there? They was, yeah. Pouring down rain, I think it's crazy. They did that shit just because these cameras is here. You know we don't be going outside when that shit motherfuckers raining. Or snowing. I remember this when I was going to TCU. Oh yeah. Uh, to the right, gotta leave the work. Which way we go? How you doing? You got your ID? Oh shit. It's under, under all this shit. 
basketball. Yeah, they gone with the camera. Your box or you got it? Huh? I'm happy with your box and you just help me with mine. Yours is? Some help with your box? My face. I'm, I'm gonna try to see if I can carry it up though. It's hot than a bitch. Whoa. Doing all this work. I don't even know what my ID is. <laughs> what that nigga real say about Gucci moving in the room with me? What'd he say? What'd he say about it? Yeah. Hey. He happy? He say he gonna get at him. Is he happy? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I got too much shit. This motherfucker heavy. Fucking with George? Yeah. <clears throat> nah, I got it though. Just hope that I don't drop this motherfucker that's in here. You need some help with your box? You need some help with your box? Yeah, that's the only thing I got down there. Can you guys still hear us on the microphones? Pretty good? Is it good? Is it good camera time? <laughs> I ain't done filming on them. The cameras are in my face, bro. <laughs> Can 
Camera got my face, bro. Some movie stars in this motherfucking pot. Camera got my face. Yeah, motherfucking camera's on. We're gonna take these. We're ready to take these microphones off. You hear me? Camera's a trick, boy. You ready to take these off? I'm just ready to go. I know, I hear you. What are you thinking? You're, just, you're here, it's a new place. Yeah, everything cool. Yeah. What's going on? Got done with these cameras? Just taking pictures and shit. What's up, man? Put that in my face, boy. Thanks. Just think we the boys or something. Oh, it's a nigga. Where it is? Slow. Yeah. 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 Ish. It all hinges on when they finish chow. So it's it's when they'll move you over there, but they want you ready for it. Same house of uh, my family here, like we are? That's a work, more or less a working house. Yeah, so, uh, have, they, have they been a wreck yet? Good question. Don't know. Usually, uh, usually in the afternoon, P house wrecks first. Thank you, man. Usually. But then they've got another day, another time in the afternoon that, that they rotate the other houses out. Uh, K house. It wrecks in, so that doesn't really factor in. House is a good unit, though. K House is a mental health unit. M House is a good unit. Yeah, M is uh, M is a pretty good unit. Usually pretty quiet. Yeah, and it's working out. Like you said, so you know they work for time. Is it as big? Cause I know next door is bigger than this. Oh yeah, it holds up to 200. 100 to a side, two to a south. How many ranges? Two. Two ranges. Very similar in design to this one. Two ranges. It says upper lower tier. A little, a little bigger day room, probably. So I got my GED, so I'll probably get a, try to get a job. Try to get class to get a job. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you know, you know, you know, you know, so, Michael, uh, since we were last in here, you actually got some news. Tell me what happened a little bit ago. Uh, well, basically, my counselor came and talked to me, and uh, he told me that I'm supposed to be transferring to a different block today, at, I think at 1245. So, basically, I'm just getting packed, talking to my roommate, and so just ready to go. You're actually getting transferred today? Today. You had no idea. No idea. Are you, when we were talking, we thought that you would be transferring out to another prison to another IYC, prison. but tell me what he told you. Basically, I have a uh, hold on me for my uh, thing for a change, basically like a class for like, or like a time cut, and he, I guess he needed the room, and so basically he wanted me to stay here instead of transferring. If I had to transfer, I wouldn't be able to, you know what I mean, get the time cut, so he wanted me to stay. And I guess once my time cut, I mean, once my class is over with, then I'll be able to transfer. So I guess I was the first one up to go, so I ain't really mad about it, though. 
I, I'm shocked. Hey, I was shocked too, though. I ain't, I, I ain't believe him when he told me that, though. Like, you feel me? I seen you lying. I ain't believe him, though. But but that's the way it came at you at nighttime, though. Like, you you won't know until they tell you. So he just walked in? He just knocked on the door and... Yeah, I, well, I seen him and went to him. I don't think he was going to tell that. It was going to be unexpected, too. You feel me? I seen him and basically, because I've been hearing a lot of, through the blog that, you know what I mean, it's overcrowded and they need the room. So I just wanted to basically see where I was at as far as, because I was ready to get transferred anyway. You know, but I had to hold on me, so that's what basically was stopping me to get transferred. So I just wanted to know, you know what I mean, like what was going on. And he told me like that. Um, he asked me, was I done with my uh, GD? I said, yeah. He said, well, because I got two kids in RDC that need to come and I need the room. And he basically said, you know what I mean, you and Rankin will be going to M House today. And he said, you know, with Tom. So I'm like, I already knew what I could do about it. So he said, yeah, you're going to M House today. And I said, okay. And he basically told me, like, you know, M House is a working unit. You know what I mean? Y'all both got your GD, so y'all should have a job. And he basically said, it's no trouble over there, you know what I mean? Everything be good, and so. And both of us should be going home this year, so. I guess he said he wanted to put us in the room together because I guess it fit, we ain't really no troublemakers, you know, so. I'm like, oh, all right, so. So M unit is actually here at Wabash. Yes, ma'am. So what you're doing is you're transferring into the adult offender population. Here, yeah. Here. Do you feel like you have a million questions to ask before? I mean, I would want to know everything before I went to. I mean, basically, I just summed it all up, basically, like, because I know, like, even regardless if it's a working unit or if it's a, you know what I mean, less trouble or whatever, it's always going to be some people wherever you go that's, you know what I mean, trouble or, you know what I mean, violent or whatever. But he basically told me, you know what I mean, it's a working unit, you know what I mean, they don't have no trouble, you know, it's less violent, it's more safe, you know what I mean. He basically told me, like, everybody over here basically about trying to come home, and so basically that's, Really, you feel me? All that it really mattered, though. You know what I mean? Because as long as people like, I ain't gonna say this on the same thing. I'm on as far as trying to go home, but as long as everybody, you know what I mean, at least trying to do something instead of just being here and just not doing nothing, everything should be cool, though. So you're going over there with Rankin. Yes, ma'am. So tell me how you feel about being. You're going to be bunking with the guy that you're actually on the same unit with now. It's 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 cool. You feel me? I'd rather be with him. More, you feel me? I couldn't be with Bro, I'd rather be with him, you know what I mean? Because we both hold. Like the sandwich they got. Everything.
question is, do you know how to play? Feel me? Of course I'm not. Cool. 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 You came with Stashman. It was all the Stashman. You'd be able to write your people for about a week. I already got a Huh? I already got like two letters. I'm saying you're going to lose all your stamps. Nah, hell yeah. I'm going to win this. Win this. I hope you know your come limits. Move, bro, when did this city come past? I got our ass off when this city come past. I was watching too. Yeah, that is passing shit fuck down here. Yeah, I'm going to call my ass. <laughs> call you. Talking to a child. He said I was talking to my sleep and shit. Takers. They're done. Are you wanting to get a shot of them out there? I'm gonna have a, a wreck in oh, here also. Door. They're gonna wreck outside right now? Yeah. This is rain. That's dedicated. If you're looking the uh, range will be in here. Over here. So. You know, is there a camera over there though? Yeah, if you're just I'm gonna let Pierce take that. <laughs> well, there's no reason to have two of us out there. Yeah. Uh, All right, thanks, said. Powers. Oh no, I can go in, but I can't get any sound.
very much. That's my child. That's so bad. That was not bad at all. Got your magic Thank you. Where I carry it? <coughs> Probably laundry. They might just throw that one away, though, Arnold. But come on, bring it out. I'm giving them the stuff so when you guys walk them out. Oh, okay. Are they going to show you giving the big man a hug or anything? Uh, no. Like doubt it. Are you sure? I'm sure. Here, as you can see, with the showers, they are a secured shower, so we can do two offenders at the same time, and it does keep them from harming each other or themselves, and it keeps them secured in here. Okay? They shower every day? Shower every day, every night. All right, they get the opportunity to shower every night as long as they get out. Um, property room, storage room. We have 24 rooms throughout the facility. Um, on each side, we can house up to 48 people all together. Okay? Each room is secured. You can see it does have a bolt. You have the cuff port so we can access in and out um, with the cuffs, shackles, handcuffs, so on and so forth. The dead bolts does add an added security. Okay? Throughout the facility, we have the only thing. Um, we do have watch tours right here. Every 15 minutes we do go through and hit the watch tour. It's just to add a security check for us so they can go in. Okay. You do have certain offenders that don't like people and they're just, they're Hancock. You do have the windows with the bars. Um, again, it's a more secured unit. They can't break in, break out. Um, Goddamn liar, I can hang myself. Okay. With the plastic, you do have plastic on one side, you got plastic on the inside. On both sides, that keeps people from throwing and throwing the urine or feces or anything else spitting out at us. And that is double security for us. Um, besides that, I mean, it's just a secured unit. We get people in, we get people out. Um, they move for the rec units and everything else. If you want to come to the other side, it's, I'll show you the outside rec pad, the classrooms, the schools. Um, intake, once they do get intaked in, they do come through the front doors here. It's a double ported sally. Same as with this door, as you can see. We do have the two doors, they're secured. One coming in, one going out. One door open once the other one closes. So it's the process, they both can open at the same time to keep people from going in now. Airlock, kind of like an airlock. If they do get in here, they're stuck in here. Okay, the only person that can open it up is through the control or with the master key. All right. As with their levels and everything, we do have a commissary box. They can put in their commissary needs, um, hygiene, um, radios, so on and so forth. So they do get their commissary. They pay for their own money. Healthcare grievance box. So if they do have a problem, so.
treatment room. We do have a treatment room. This is where they come in for the counseling, um, their treatments, security, um, so on and so forth. Last one we had is the anger behavior. So they did come here with the counselors, talk to them, everything else so they did go through with all that. So the, the kids that are in this unit um, stay in this unit and they get their treatment and their education here? They, they get their treatment, their education. Um, this is their, their new homes until they decide to get their levels and get out of here themselves. Okay, when you say get their levels, what do you mean? Their levels, as far as, um, it's a behavior process. They, they keep on coming up. Level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, release. So the better they do, um, and they go up every two and a half weeks, three weeks, depends on you know the program that they're in. They go up into the counselor, the counselor talks to them. It depends if they've gotten any majors, if they've been good, they've been respectful. Um, just based on their behavior, the better they are, the quicker they get their levels. Release. Do you mean release from the release, release from the unit. Release back into the unit so that they can become part of GP again. Usually when they do get released from the secured housing unit, they do get up into a, um, a medium level. So you're looking at a three or four, so they don't start back off at one. So. And cover it. Again, the other half of the unit, we have the same rooms and everything else. Here's a room. As you can see, they do get the mat, the blanket, the bars are covered. They do have the security on both sides of the rooms and everything else. They have the toilet facility. They also have running water, hot and cold, on both sides. security camera so we do, we can do 24-hour surveillance on them so they, they can be watched to make sure they're no harm to their cell nothing else because they do have to be under observation while they're in here they're juveniles just to make sure the safety's there there is a microphone intercom system so if there is a problem they can come up and call control ask for control you know they, they need um, toiletry items they have a question there's something wrong with their rooms beyond our going through they can stand there and talk so as far as with the inside, <coughs> I'm showing you with the screen. We do have the screens and everything on the inside too. That keeps them from busting through, throwing stuff out, and for security reasons. So. seems a little banged up. The scratch paint, I mean the doors themselves, they're, they're not going to get through the doors. It's just cosmetic wise. How destructive are these kids? Depends on the person. I mean, you give somebody enough time because that's what they have. They have tons of time. They can be very destructive. Some of them are good, but a lot of them are very destructive. And we've had some in the past. They tore the chairs out of the wall. They, they busted the sprinklers. They, they busted this out. They, you know structural damage on the walls. Um, you give somebody enough time with something, they are going to create damage. How dangerous is this for your staff? As long as they're behind the door, the safety and security is great. Once we have to go in there and you know secure him, we have to go through the proper procedures and everything else. Our staff properly trained and everything else, and they do follow the policy and the guidelines, they are safe and secure. And they, they are going to remain safe. It's still a dangerous job. I'm not going to say it's not, but as long as you follow the protocols and the safety, we're going to be safe. So. Me, little folk. Yeah. I'm gone now. I'm gonna be <laughs> she ain't going to be proud of that. <laughs> Now you don't want nothing because your hair look like that. You're not going to dress up anymore, period, huh? You just not going to dress up anymore, period, huh? Besides, this videotaping about around her. Put me on the camera, man.
Jump in that fence.
leadership power when we're shooting the other side too. Yeah, we're gonna be shooting. Two populations you're dealing with? Three populations. Three populations. Oh, yeah, you got protective custody. Yeah, we have protective custody over here. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Um, we actually have three different units in this building. It's the only building on the uh, facility like this. We have the juveniles, we have protective custody, and the general population. Uh, and they all have to remain segregated from each other. 
it gets kind of be a zoo or a circus up here sometimes because we have to maintain the security of the juveniles, the protection of those, and then our workers. And for obvious reasons, they can't be intermingled. So. And so you're actually controlling the door, doors opening and closing and all access, if you could describe that, sort of, generally speaking? <laughs> you push a button, the door opens. I don't open it unless there's an authorized entry. And that's... So that's the uh, entire entire s synopsis. Um, just opened it. Oh, six. Doors on the left are secure now. Stand clear. Obviously, we have to be careful not to close anybody in. And some of them don't make it easy. If I can test. Yes, they do. And I heard you say uh, 10 seconds on the left earlier, or 10 seconds on the right? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I try and give them more. No, she's on the bottom. Um, I try and give them a warning so that nobody is standing in the door and they know what's coming. They like consistency. Um, if you have a, do, you guys, do you call them code greens in this facility? Or if you have an incident and you have to put things on lockdown, what's, how does things we don't We don't have a code, anything like that. Uh, the only code we have is a code red Bravo, which is normally an extraction in the SHU or CCU. Uh, Lockdowns are all mandated by our administration, our shift supervisors. If we have a yard. David. You signal at your back window. Ten seconds. Complete loss of train of thought. Uh, we have, if we have a fight, um, typically the wing will be locked down immediately. A uh, continuation of a lockdown will come from someone like Miss Doherty over here or our shift supervisor. And once we have the situation contained, depending on the situation, we either let them back up or keep them down. Uh, a lot depends if there's a weapon involved, if there's just two guys having it out. So. You never know. You never know until it actually happens what's going to happen. Right. Yeah. Traffic control, left wing, fire door. Do you ever have guys, uh, when they age out of the juvenile side, we'll just transfer right over here? So yeah, we have. We have uh, two or three on the right side that came from the left. We've got trying to watch what's going on. Horse. That's what the mirrors are for.
going through this? Through those blankets? Yeah. I'm going to go through there. Mary 2, left and right bay. You got the book property boxes already? Yep.
Mm-hmm.